appreciate it. <laughs> so, when in doubt, when in Michael. doubt, blame it on Michael. No, he's the best. Whoa. Not Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Careful, Kelly, you're gonna fall. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy. Hi. How's I'm feeling a little silly. Um, what else is new? So I'm Kelly Hitman. Welcome back to the Colt Show. Hello. How's everyone doing today? Welcome. Just a little reminder who we are. I'm Kelly. I'm an actor slash writer slash model if you want to take my picture, I guess. Uh, I'm just one of those slashy people. That's weird. You told me I'm to get out of the tree when I tried to do that last time. <laughs> Anyway, this is Neil. <laughs> Hello. Was, did the shot turn out good, though? Was That's that? all I want to know. Did, did it at least look good? Yeah, I, good I made pretty good money off it. So nice. it turned out pretty good. <laughs> I, do, like I do I at least you. get to see royalties or something? <laughs> sure. Okay, no thank problem. you. Thank you. It's a cake. Um, it's better than, well, anyway. Yes, my name is Neil. We are back in the basement of the Roxy Cinemas, uh, lounging in our wonderful couch. Yes. Uh, getting ready to talk about some more pop culture goodness from uh, days of uh, the past, days of the your. 80s, the your, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. I somehow couldn't think of a word called your, <laughs> a three-letter word. Always here to throw you the old thank jargon. Thank you. Yes, anyway. anytime, anytime. Uh, and we have Caleb here still with us. Yay. Caleb. Hey, guys. Say hi. And of course, as always, we're joined by our live studio audience, Michael, and we have our uh, new makeup uh, help. Per gal, I just guess all we'll around call help. Help, help. Just help, all around help. Just help. Wanda, help. hi Wanda, thanks for Moral coming. Support. Wanda. Yay, Welcome we love you. Yes. So we're growing. So we welcome, uh, welcome to show number four. We're uh, happy to still be here, going strong. We we'll hope you guys are enjoying right. it. Kelly, yes. what's going on since the last time we uh, we spoke? We had our Christmas episode, which was fun, oh, and now here we are in the new year. I know, right? right in the new year, 2019. What's your New Year's resolution? We should start off right, the, oh, right off the I don't, bat. I don't, I don't ever do those, I'll be quite honest. <laughs> I so. don't either. So, okay. <laughs> All right. I was, there, goes, there goes that segment. <laughs> Good segment. Okay. Boom, done. What's next? And that was quick. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> other than that, just the, oh, the holiday craziness is over with. But, uh, right. You you uh you are in the retail industry. Yeah, we don't talk about. We don't talk about it. <laughs> per your um, while you're in between your acting gigs, so yes. it's so over we, finally. We gotta make a living somehow. Right. So uh, so yeah, it's over. I'm still in one piece. You get um, to get some sleep now, hopefully. Yes. Yeah. Which is probably why I'm extra peppy today. <laughs> it's um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's. That's why. You don't have to pull a 12 hour shift and uh, no, no. deal with Now it's yeah. just people taking their working, returning everything. Working seven days in a row. Yes, exactly. Now it's the era of the returns. But okay. we, don't want, we don't have to get into that. Okay. That's, that's turn the turn channel. The turn the Turn channel. the page. Gotcha. Yeah. So, you know, I want to. Day jobs are great. So, big shout out to artists who make a living and get to do what they love. I don't want to. You know, get down on that. Yes, thank you. No, thank that's you. huge. It's important, yeah. It's I wish we could do that. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so since it is the new year, yes. why don't we talk about, uh, real quick, maybe any, are there any movies that you're, well, or anything you're looking forward to in the new year and or anything you want to reflect upon in 2018? Looking forward to the Oscars and seeing if any genre stuff gets, okay. you know, makes the cut yeah. for the nominees. Um, you all know I'm... Totally rooting for Hereditary. That's been my number one favorite film of the year. Good film. Tony Very good Collette, film. I mean, uh, like I say, I, she's going to win the Oscar. She was amazing. I'm, I have to put it out there. Make I would, I would, I would agree she at least gets nominated. Yeah, yeah, I mean, she did a fantastic job. So if no one has not seen Hereditary yet, I would, I would recommend it for sure. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic I mean, film. The directing, the writing, the score, it's yeah. all, yeah. It's probably Amazing. my favorite horror film of the year. All right, look say. at us so agreeing. Agreeing. I like that. Nice. All right. That's two agreeances. That's no, no uh, New Year's resolution and. Oh my gosh. And we're agreeing this on uh, our movie. Wow. So, Caleb, well, you didn't have a chance yet to see it. I still have not seen okay. it. That's why I'm being. You'll get there. He's being quiet. More, more quiet than, <laughs> than, than normal. Usual. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll get you included soon. I promise. You'll get there. You'll we'll get, get there. this going. Mm -hmm. Um, um, as far as uh, things coming this year that I'm interested in, I'll tell you Candy what mine is. Man. Oh, sorry, Candyman. Oh, okay, Candyman. Definitely, I'm uh, interested in that one. That's, I mean, the original one I fell in love with, and yeah. way back in my middle school days, when I don't know if it was quite appropriate for me to be watching it, but I did anyway, and I <laughs> loved it. And uh, 
yeah, looking forward to seeing what, yeah, what Jordan do. Peele does with that. And it's it's in good hands, so I trust he's gonna cool. he's gonna rock it. So you know, I am looking forward to a film that's actually gonna be opening very soon. I think it's January. Kill of No Better is Glass. Yeah. I think that's, I think oh, that's January. Oh yeah. So I'm really looking forward yeah. to that because that takes a lot to get me excited, and I'm I think it looks. I think um, the gentleman who was the actor in Split. Split, yeah, James McAvoy. James McAvoy, uh -huh. thank you. <laughs> Jeez, That's okay. James McAvoy. I'm still coming down from the holiday uh, eggnog, mm -hmm. but uh, <laughs> James McAvoy was fantastic in Split, and I think you know he deserved a nomination that year. And then of course so. Unbreakable. Yes, Unbreakable. Yeah, and, yeah I mean, Bruce Willis, but, Samuel Jackson. So, exactly. So I think Glass is going to be really, at least from the previous Glass, looks really yeah. cool. And I have to agree with you that I have not been excited about a trailer in a long time. But Glass yeah. was definitely one that got me, yeah. like, really hyped up. Glass opens in yeah. theaters January 18th. January 18th. So. Yeah. Cool. So this has to come out before that, <laughs> or we're going to sound really foolish. Yes, exactly. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, I'm pretty much looking forward to anything that was at Fantastic Fest. Okay. They just, all the films that I read about sounded amazing. That zombie musical. Mm -hmm. the, all the cool things yeah, go there. Yeah, yeah. For sure. And then, for me, a film that I... <laughs> fell in love with in 2018 that I keep talking about, and mm -hmm. Caleb's probably going to get up and smack me again, um, is actually an old movie from 1974, and that was Schlock. Ah, John I know Lannis' first one movie. Of your faves. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. all of a sudden. I don't know. I've never seen it before, uh, but I got to finally watch it, and I don't know why, but I just absolutely fell in love with that movie. Nice. I mm -hmm. think it was just hysterical. So I, my favorite, my favorite film of 2018, <laughs> aside from Hereditary, yeah, was a yeah, movie that opened, you know, 40 years earlier, whatever it is, so, uh, 70, 80, 90, 2000, yeah, 40 some years earlier, 40, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, John Landis, if you haven't seen it, go check out Schlock, it's, there's a new Blu-ray out that came out, um, it's really cool, I mean, it's just John Landis running around in a monkey suit, but it's hysterical, <laughs> so, That's I can't Who doesn't want to see that? You know, some people might not, and I have to say, give it a chance, Come it's got on, some really funny, goofy stuff in it. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, I would not steer you wrong, I would not point you to a stupid comedy, because I don't like stupid comedy. How's that? I thought of a resolution. What's that? I was thinking about it. as we're sitting here. I was like, I gotta come up with something. Okay. So my resolution is to finally finish one of my writing projects that I started. Cause I, I can't tell you how many things that I'm sure this goes for a lot of other artists out there and writers. You know, you start so many things, but to actually complete something is is a challenge. Yeah. It's true. And shout out to anyone who's ever completed any work of art because it it is challenging. I have a. But it's an incredible journey, and I hope to uh, finish one of those journeys this that's a year. Good one. So yeah. I have a script also that's currently in. It's a you know and it's a, it's at the end of the first uh, act, <laughs> and it's been sitting that way for about three years now. So. It happens. But I am not it a happens. writer. I don't necessarily enjoy writing, so that's why it's just sitting yeah. there. But maybe Wanda, when she's over there in the side, she can be. Kind of going at it while we're while we're go. doing this, yeah. so <laughs> get there something to do in between, freaking uh, wiping off my forehead all the time. Tousling you know. my curls. <laughs> That's right, because we're so important now. We no. need makeup. <laughs> yes. No, this is all this is DIY, baby. That's this right. Is all DIY. Know, <laughs> good job with your DIY. Thanks. I mean, I didn't like make the makeup. I didn't like. Oh, I you didn't, didn't sit at home in my lab like stirring together <laughs> right. pigments and. You yeah. weren't like taking all those baby bones I don't have and a lab. Them. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, no. Uh, no, Caleb. How about you? Anything no. you're looking forward to? <laughs> is that what baby powder is? is that what? <laughs> it could like be, maybe, right? <laughs> what do they make? That's why it smells what about, so good. And what about baby lotion? <laughs> they like oh, squeeze. Then it's like really. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. That's a good question. Yeah. We should find out. Family friendly entertainment. <laughs> Grinding and okay. squeezing your babies. <laughs> I'll grind your bones to make my bread. <laughs> Need to rub some baby juice on my body now. <laughs> I mean, I oil. I mean, <laughs> lotion. <laughs> Caleb, lotion anything that you're here. looking uh, forward to? Yeah. What am I looking for? You know, today I saw the new Godzilla mm. trailer came oh. out. King and, of the Monsters. Uh, I thought that looked uh, that looked kind of interesting. Okay. Um, I'm not saying I'm looking forward to it, but obviously the, the new Avengers trailer came out and the viewing of that broke all sorts of records for a 24 hour period, so. But every new movie um, seems to always break the record. It of, does, it yeah. does. Of whatever yeah. it is. Um, yeah, I, you know, other than Glass, yeah. Uh, 
Okay. Which means that, like, after January. <laughs> yeah, we're we're all... yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> now what, guys? Go watch... back to bed. And not wake I guess up we'll just go back to the here. cult show and start <laughs> reviewing old movies. Yeah, there you go. Exactly, there you go. yeah. Any favorites from last year? You remember? You watch, Caleb watches a lot of movies. Lots yeah, and lots of movies. I do. So. You know what? Today, uh, this, sorry, 2018 was kind of a light year for me, to be honest with you. Mm. Um not going to lie, I did enjoy Black Panther for okay. just kind of the social aspect of it. Uh, um, but I don't, I you know, I'd have to go back and look at my list because I do write everything down that I watch okay. <laughs> because otherwise I'm not going to remember it. Uh, but nothing is, is jumping out at the moment. Okay. So probably because I haven't watched Hereditary yet. Oh, uh, yeah. There you go. But once you do, we will once do... you go Hereditary, <laughs> you never go. Once you do the Hered, you'll never go Terry. To bed. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that works pretty good. But I kind of like I can run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm me a writer. I can write. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She'll keep this grinding her babies. I'll <laughs> <laughs> be good. Uh, more, I mean, makeup, that sound, more makeup. <laughs> that does sound like a. It's a great idea for a fairy tale. You know, I know. Like a dark fairy tale. That's what I was kind of thinking of actually. I might have to but. take that idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Uh, That's I'll, okay. No, you keep the royalties so on that, and I'll picture, get the royalties. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'll swap you. I'll swap you a nudie photo <laughs> for a book idea. I'll keep my artistic <laughs> pictures yeah. to myself, and <laughs> it all works out in the end. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what else is coming up? Pet Cemetery. Yeah, that's true. The new yeah, Pet Cemetery yeah, movie. Fun. That'll be interesting to see that's, how they I'm, I'm not, uh, do that. Uh, yeah. I'm scared. Not like super hyped, but <laughs> uh, you know, I'm a big fan of the first one. Or yeah, you know, so. the trailer was fun. I, I yeah. Ooh, Pet it. Cemetery. <laughs> Yay! Directed female director, by the way, Mary Lambert. Oh, so nice. nice. Very cool. We always got to point that out to the the female, uh, you know, directed or produced anything yeah. films. I think yeah. just to yeah. give a shout out. Since we're still so. in that time period of time where it's it's unfortunately something that we, I know exactly. we do have to point out. I know point I keep bringing that up, but it's like, yeah. It'll change one day. It'll change. One day. One day. If you'd write your goddamn script. If I would actually finish. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Kelly, you're a problem. <laughs> you're not helping the cause. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Baby grinder. Burn the witch! Baby grinder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about Michael? Any favorite films from uh, 18? Overlord, that's yeah, a good one. Michael yeah, Michael and I were just talking about Overlord. Yeah, that was good a really one. good one. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see it. That was I like I liked Overlord. That okay. was a nice, fun, you know, new commodity that yeah. wasn't a remake. Uh, it was great. Yeah, a lot of fun. Cool. I know I know you wanted more gore, Neil. But no, well, just at the end, <laughs> I expected that battle to be bigger at the end. Yeah. That's all. When you have the two dudes taking the, I want them to give it away to Kelly, but mm-hmm. right. drinking the sauce and then uh, <laughs> you know. And then uh, you, I just thought there was gonna be a big, a big, huge, a big br- like battle like ground babies yeah. bones. <laughs> you, know, like, <laughs> you know, that's all. So I was a little disappointed in that. But that being said, doesn't mean I didn't like the movie. I liked yeah. it a lot. Right. So I, I love when you get new horror genre stuff, right. obviously, and, and it's good. The, it's actually good. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, the it's acting was great. Period yeah. piece. You yeah. know what movie I really enjoyed? It, um, correct me if I'm wrong. It might be 2017. I can't remember if it was 17 or 18, but Mom and Dad with Nicolas Cage and Selma Blair. That might have been 18. Okay. It might have been. Well, loved it. Okay. It's. Uh, I, I suppose it's marketed as a horror film. It definitely has elements of horror, but it's also kind of an action slash dark comedy. Um, the the film is shot by Brian Taylor who has filmed a lot of music videos and you can tell just the way that the film is shot it's this very fast paced um, it, it almost is like you're watching you know an hour and a half two hour music video it's got like total Duran Duran uh, not not quite Duran Duran oh <laughs> yeah. no oh, sorry. a little more aha uh-huh. no I'm just kidding no. oh okay but, yeah, good <laughs> animation there no. I know that one no it's just um, more the, the pacing and the music that he chooses to pair with it um, uh, he's described it as having like a, a punk rock energy to it, which it really does. And it has Nicolas Cage in it, whom I mean, I will watch any movie that Nicolas Cage is in. What happened to Nicolas Cage? I, well, he did, became how? one of the greatest stars in the world, <laughs> and I'll watch whatever yeah. movie he's in. Okay, I'm not saying I, I love dislike him, it, but, but he was oh, like he was in the stratosphere, right? And he was doing all these cool films, I mean, and he had, like very eight blockbuster A-list yeah, type exactly. of movies. And then yeah. all of a sudden, like. 
I don't know, like he just like yeah. fell to earth and then kept falling through earth and uh, landed in the dump. I don't I'm not sure exactly, but I think I he mean, went I think he went bankrupt and now just takes whatever <laughs> role is offered to him. Yeah. Okay. See, so I didn't yeah. know that. So but, but, you, but why aren't the good roles coming to him sure, anymore? I'm sure there's plenty of stuff he's I mean, he won an Academy down. Award in right? the mid-90s. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I yeah, know, he, he has his own method of acting, which he calls nouveau shamanism. Um, he's, yeah, he's just, he's just great. I mean, Vampire's Kiss, Deadfall. Has anyone out there seen Deadfall? Please talk to me about it because... I need someone to talk to you about <laughs> Deadfall desperately. Okay. Um, yeah, anyway. Michael Bean's in it. Hmm. Playing a military guy? Play, no, playing a... Guy from the future who comes back to save you from the Terminator? Mm, mm, not quite. Oh, okay. Not quite. <laughs> anyway, Mom and Dad, Nicolas Cage is great. Selma Blair is awesome And that awesome was 2018, by the way. Thank you. So, yeah, 2018. You're, you're good. Really fun film. Um, yeah. Good stuff. Okay. Good stuff. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is an email that I received. A couple days ago, okay. and it came to my work email address, uh -oh. uh, and it's from a gentleman named Justin Martin, and the subject is, your life has been paid for, and it says, dear, blah, 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 my email, someone you called your friend wants you dead by all means, and this person have spent a lot of money in this venture. This person came to us and told me that he wanted you dead, and he provided us with your name, picture, and other necessary informations, pluralized, Ooh. we needed about you. Get back to me as soon as you get this mail. <laughs> Which one of you sons of guns was it? Is what I want to know. Well, Justin Martin, Who's... you little stinker. <laughs> <laughs> gave it up. Was it you? <laughs> no, it's Justin Martin. Is that it? Does it end there? Does it? Did you write That's back That's where it there? ended. So no one writes so back. So what are you supposed to get back to him about? To call it off or to uh, just yeah, find I don't out know. Well, he to you from his, like, it's very open email. ended, you guys. I mean, <laughs> I don't, yeah. I mean, I you know, it's a. He goes to what's Oglethorpe? I don't know. He's writing from Oglethorpe. We're EDU. turning you in, Justin. Yes, we You're are. You're on notice. <laughs> writing me You've emails. You've been expelled from Oglethorpe. Threatening my life. <laughs> Justin, you just got Justin. served. That's gotta be. That's gotta be a federal <laughs> offense, right? I don't death know. threats. I don't know. Is it a death threat, though? <laughs> well, he says someone's... I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's a death threat. I'm guessing, he want, I'm guessing he wants money to... to I, I still don't know what you're supposed to get back to him about. I don't though. know. but I don't know either, but I'm assuming... Okay. You know. Okay, yeah. to give my okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, do that. I'm, I'm, I'm good with this. <laughs> That's fine. Maybe Bring it's it on. not a death threat, actually. It just sounds like some guy just really doesn't like you. <laughs> I, mean, I guess I get those emails yeah. all the time. <laughs> your life okay, has do. been paid we for. I'm pretty sure. No, it even says so. Your life has been paid for. He want, No, it says here that he wanted you dead. It's, that's pretty. Uh, that pretty much says it right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, but he's not saying he's not, I'm going no, no, to no, kill you. No, no, right. yeah, you're not right. Threatening. You're right. He's not threatening to do that's it. That's my he's, point. It's very like. It's kind of okay, like yeah. he sort of knows the law, just doesn't know English. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Well, he goes to college, so I mean, you know. <laughs> Oglethorpe has a, Must be a not, public college. not a great uh, English program. <laughs> no. Okay. And I just thought I'd share that with you because I found, found that interesting. That, that is very interesting. I get a lot of weird emails sometimes, um, but that was... Uh, I wonder what picture he has of you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good question. <laughs> Hopefully it's not from that exam I had, that rectal exam I had a couple days ago, that prostate exam. So <laughs> he's got one big brown eye. That's right. It's a little wrinkly around the, <laughs> around the edges. That's the one that you have of me, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on your wall. Yes, hanging in her locker. It's on my phone. So when, when you call, it pops up. <laughs> I don't know why you think of that. It makes me think of uh, Black Hole Sun. <laughs> don't you? I love that song. Wow. I love that song. <laughs> Now I'll never think. Those lyrics just, just took like, on a whole new meaning. Yeah, you just like ruined one of my favorite bands. <laughs> oh, well. Rest in peace, Chris Cornell. Yes. Yes, yes. Sad, <laughs> sad. Anyway. So, hey, um, I hear we're talking Beetlejuice. Oh, yes, We're going to be right. watching Beetlejuice. I'm all decked out in my stripes and my green, of course. Looking uh, good. Wanda's got her Beetlejuice yeah, shirt Wanda's on. Yeah, Wanda's Beetlejuicy. Yes, she, <laughs> she is. Not baby juicy. Be but Beetlejuicy. Beetlejuicy. <laughs> Beetlejuicy. <laughs> Beetlejuicy. <laughs> Neil's got his Beetlejuice got my Beetlejuice shirt on. This is actually another shirt courtesy of our buddies at punkstuff.com. 
Yes. So uh, again, punkstuff.com has horror shirts and rock okay. shirts and punk shirts. I like it. And you know what else is kind of funny? We're all wearing some kind of a sweater cardigan y thing today. Yeah, it's a And we did not talk to each other. So Caleb's oh, sorry, got one. Kelly, Target, myself, $5. <laughs> even Wanda's wearing a green one, so it's kind of cool. I've we don't know. I think I've had this one probably since high school. Nice. Oh. Yeah. That makes it almost vintage. It is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> almost vintage, like three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Or maybe another 20 years. It'll be, no. And I'm trying to think, what, yeah. what high school reunion year is this? How, what's your, For me? Have you, have you been to any of your oh, yeah. reunions? Oh, yeah. Geez. We went to our 20s. We went to our twentieth wow. like five years ago. Yeah. <laughs> has it been that long? Twenty twelve. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, it has been that long. So wow. I, we, if there was a twenty five, I didn't hear about it. Yeah, yeah. we weren't invited. I never go on Facebook. <laughs> my twenty anymore, is so. actually coming up in a couple years. Really? Yeah. Like, yeah. like ten years? No. No. <laughs> yeah. Four years. Yeah, four years, really? 15. For 20? Oh, twenty? Twenty twenty two. Wow. Okay, that's coming up. Yeah. Are you gonna go? Nope. No, you're like Sorry. you're like us. It was it was kind of painful. Like, didn't really want to yeah, go. I sort of told Neil like, if you go, I will go. Yeah. But otherwise, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And it was. I don't know, it's weird. It's weird. Yeah. It's a weird thing to go to a reunion. Yeah. I really, you know, what I really like that <laughs> is the uh, the John Cusack film. Um, Gross Point. Gross Point, Point Blank. Blank. Wonderful yeah. movie. It's a great film, and the way that he handles really not want to go to his reunion and just that the trepidation, and once he's there, the Anxiety, I guess he's going through because, like, why am I here? I don't even care about any of these people, Is kind that of thing. Mini Driver, Mini yeah. Driver, yeah, yeah. Alan yeah. Arkin. Such a fun film, great film, great soundtrack. Yeah, wonderful um, soundtrack. We should do a show on that one. We should do that. We could do a whole show on reunion films because my favorite yeah. is Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion. Oh, okay. That's my That's favorite high school reunion Thank movie. You. So hilarious. That's great cast. Gene so Garofalo, Alan Cummings. Peggy Sue Got Married. Cameron Manheim. Oh, yeah. And of course, don't forget. Bring it back to Nick Cage. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> and Whoa. it's a local film filmed here it in is. Santa it Rosa is. and Petaluma, Petaluma. Right. Peggy yeah. Sue at our high school at our high school it's filmed at our Santa high school Rosa high. Francis Ford so, Coppola yeah Francis Coppola who also has a winery here in Sonoma County he does beautiful winery beautiful winery yes very nice yeah. and good drinks very good cocktails I recommend it. Good food and in the nice restaurant. Food, they have a swimming pool. And what? And great food, too. And the yeah. food is not too yeah. bad, also. It's, it's actually a yeah. really nice place to go. Full disclosure, I did used to work there. so. Oh, did you? I did, yes. Oh, you didn't tell yeah. us that. I, oh. oh. Well. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Your resume. That wasn't was on the little, resume uh, there. <laughs> <laughs> My resume to be on the cult show. <laughs> Hey, I turned away. Hey, you interviewed at Starbucks. <laughs> you may not know you were being interviewed. <laughs> oh, <but. laughs> that's right. I thought you meant I interviewed to work at Starbucks. I was like, I don't think I did. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Um, there's Starbucks, also a good uh, high school reunion film called National Lampoon's High School Reunion, I believe it is. Uh, and it's, um, it's a horror, a comedy horror. So they all go back together, and then one oh. of them decides to just start murdering all the others. Oh. Um, and it's it's got it's, <laughs> it's got um, Anne Ramsey, I think it was her name, the gal uh, from Throw Mama from and, the Train, uh, the mom from Throw Mama from the Train, <laughs> and Goonies, the mama. and uh, um, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> so she plays she plays the, the high school here. cook, the chef, whatever, the cook, the lunch, and she's still lingerie. there. And there's this hysterical scene where the killer's coming after her. And they do something really weird with the camera, and she's like all, hi-ya, hi-ya, hi-ya. <laughs> but they, like, they like do like a speed ramp kind of thing to it, and she's like, oh, hi -ya, hi -ya. I don't know. I can't explain <laughs> it. You got to watch it. You have to see it. You got to yeah. see it. I know it's not funny now when I'm doing it, but you imagine her doing that. It was right. actually pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. But anyway. I, also, um, I love the episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia where they go to their high school Oh, they're dancing at that, the end? Oh, my That's, gosh. It's hilarious. That was cool. Caleb hates that show. But <laughs> nope, <laughs> it's, it's good to have. Now you're all opinion. gonna hate on me. I no. Just, no, I just haven't found it funny the few times I've tried watching yeah. it. it well, I think it's Sorry. gonna be boring if we were all just sitting here like loving everything exactly the same. Oh, know, so yeah. Do so you want to have more uh, <laughs> strife and friction <laughs> between us? Okay. Say, no, a healthy. You're wrong. Nick Cage is junk. <laughs> <laughs> a healthy debate. Okay, a healthy, healthy debate. Yeah. Remember that. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Well, should we pop in Beetlejuice? Pop it what do you in. think? Give it a watch? Yeah, I think so. Are you able, uh, can you, um, Cause it are you is able, the can you, can you stretch? Watch your, <laughs> <laughs> watch your stripes, there you go. Your stars right, and stripes. here I go forever. So, since it is the 30th 
anniversary, right? Yeah, thirtieth. 30th. 30th anniversary. God, of this I can't. Thirty years. Lovely flick, Beetlejuice, family favorite. Um, well, we'll talk about it. But let's pop it in first. Thanks. And uh, there you go. Whoa, uh, whoa, uh, whoa. Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Thirty, 30 years! Don't blow it on me. You know, like. <laughs> it's got some. Uh, it's got some schmutz. <laughs> this is like a skin tag. I don't or know. Something. It's some beetle schmutz. <laughs> what is? I don't know what that is. Your scalp. My scalp. <laughs> Back when I used to pick my <laughs> scalp and eat them. Yeah, and eat it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, whilst watching Beetlejuice, well, yeah, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that's who knew. <laughs> All right, rewind that. Let's go. All right. It was, it was rewound. That was oh, mine. Okay. Time to press so, play. I was always kind, kind and rewound. <laughs> <laughs> I was always kind and rewound. rewound. Kind and rewound. All right, we'll watch right. this and then we'll come back uh, in a few. Snacks. Oh please. Blanky. Wanda. Wanda snacks. <laughs> Stop doing My forehead shiny, Wanda. <laughs> Experience your favorite horror, comedy, and science fiction films of the 70s, 80s, and 90s on the big screen with the cult film series at Roxy 14. Double features Thursdays at 7 p.m. Visit us on Facebook for more information. All right, we're back. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're still watching us. <laughs> and if you're not, you wouldn't even know that you're not here, so maybe, it's okay. Maybe you're still watching Beetlejuice. That's fine. Keep going. Keep That's going. right. And then just come back to us later. But we finished. And uh, I'll tell you what, 30 years later, that movie still is one of my t favorites, one of my top comedies, you know, of, uh, of the 80s. I mean, that movie is just hysterical, so well mm -hmm. done, imaginative. I mean, it was as a, as a young child, a young child versus an yeah. old child, but as That's a younger right, yeah. side of the child, of the child <laughs> spectrum. <laughs> um, you know, I, and who liked the spooky stuff, that movie was perfect for me because it had the special effects and the spookiness. Yeah. And it was still funny at the same time. That's what I so, love about it, is that yeah. you can watch it with the whole family. And it's kind of the gateway film for kids that are into the spooky stuff, right. like you're saying, which I think is why it remains such a classic. Um, I kind of look at it on the same wavelength as like The Witches, you know, the Roald Dahl film, or story that the film was based on. Um, those spooky family films that, you know, bigger kids can watch right. and get kind of spooked. Um, Cause yeah, I, I love you know me and my children's entertainment. Yes, you know I love it. So you do. Yeah. Yes, I we're sure still do. trying to <laughs> figure some, that one some out. Piece off so of the that's okay though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Beetlejuice. I mean, obviously, you got to start with Michael Keaton. I think. Oh right? gosh. I mean, yeah. he's he is brilliant and mm -hmm. he is hysterical and. I mean, I know, yeah. I guess, I think he's in, they, you say, like, 17 minutes 17 of the movie. 17 minutes, I think. <laughs> the movie, but, uh, yeah, just owns it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he he could conceivably screen. be improvising the whole time, and yeah. we right. wouldn't know, because he's just that good. I, I wonder how much of it was improvised. Right. Or, you know, how many takes they had to do. Uh, yeah, no, for in, sure. In like, my research... <laughs> research yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think i read like 90 percent of that was improvised nice okay that's what i was thinking i don't know if that's true or a, not but found it on the internet mostly okay true so but internet um, internet yeah. uh prop but just his, propaganda his physical comedy the yes. way he em totally embodies the character it's no one else yeah could do that role no it's hysterical and i mean all those he owns it all those little like you said the nuances and yep mm -hmm. i mean that the scene just that's so great and shows his extreme talent yeah. is when you, when they ask him, you know, about you know, what are your qualifications? And you're like, oh, well, you know, I attended <laughs> Juilliard. I, gra <laughs> you know, I, I graduated from the Harvard Business School. <laughs> I watched The Exorcist 167 times. And he's like, but he starts from the, you know, the real, like, normal voice, Michael Keaton, and he just, you know, degresses like, into that, uh, full, and it yeah. keeps getting funnier every time I watch it, you know, kind of thing. I mean, it, that scene is just hysterical, the way he... He goes full Beatle. Yeah, yeah. it's on full Beatle. Yeah, yeah. Ah, well, I attended Juilliard. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I lived through the Black Plague, and I had a pretty good time during that. I've seen The Exorcist about 167 times, and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it! Not to mention the fact that you're talking to a dead guy. Now, what do you think? You think I'm qualified? So that, that's just and just his is. whole look. I mean, the the makeup, and the hair, his outfit. Yep. 
He looks darn good in stripes, you know. He does. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. No, he does. And, and apparently had to be talked into taking the role, too. He had right. To, he had to have a sit down with Tim, Tim Burton. It sounds like most And he had to kind of sell him, you know. Yeah. I think Gina Davis was pretty much the only one that was like, all right, I'll do it. Yeah, I heard that most <laughs> of the cast was a little. And everyone else was like, I don't sure. get this. Sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can see that, I guess, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, and that's it, the thing, it, that might not translate, you know, reading it, going like, well, what's the vision? Exactly, of, especially you know, because the it is. And the cinematographer and, you know. Because yeah. so. it is such a visual, yeah. visually amazing, stunning yeah. thing. I mean, so, tip, you know, your typical Tim Burton, spooky, kooky styling. Yep. Yeah. Tim Burton, spooky you bring him kooky. up? Yeah. Spooky <laughs> and kooky? You know, Isn't that, you know, yeah, I, I would that. say, hey, That's wait like, a minute, that sounds like someone else we know around yeah. here. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> so Tim Burton obviously does not shy away from anything that is uh, on the darker side. But it's um, whimsically dark. Yes, yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's always whimsically dark. And, um, but then that's what makes him one of my favorites, obviously, yeah. is that you can always, even when he makes a Batman movie, you know, especially the the you second can, one. You I mean, can still it's, tell it's him. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's whimsical, but it's got some dark tones to it. But uh, yeah, I mean, Beetlejuice just holds up so well because of I think that perfect mixture of the comedy and Tim Burton. And then once Tim Burton gets in there, then he pulls in oh. his usual people that he deals with, the Danny Elfman's and yes, you know whoever yeah. else. Uh, well, I mean, I guess from there he met Winona Ryder probably from that film. Then of course used her and Edward right. Scissorhands and right, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. So, but. Uh, my gal Winona. Yes. She's a local. Like, she's, she is, right? Yeah. She's Petaluma, yeah. is that right? Petaluma. Mm -hmm. yeah. Petaluma. For a little okay. bit. I call her my gal because I was her double for the first J.J. Abrams Star Trek film. I never actually oh. got to meet her, but they used me as like her back in a scene. Really? Because I fit into her costume. So I always so feel like... So the scene where the ground crumbles and she falls down? Which she does. Oh. Is that you? No, spoiler alert. Oh, you can say. Spoiler People alert. Seen it by now. Her doors. <laughs> yeah. So they, she, I don't Doo! think they ended up using the exact shot that I was in, but um, but yeah. But you don't so. know they didn't, or maybe you do. But uh, well, yeah. Let's just say it was you. Right. You got a paycheck, right? I did. I did. <laughs> I, I got go. to wear her costume. Got a paycheck. <laughs> did not get to meet her, but I still feel like you know. You got to go to. We a, are like <laughs> soul sisters in some right. way because of that experience. So you went to it. No you went to a. Yeah. It was a, a stage, right? Because that was probably a whole. It was a big, the a green screen type of a uh, environment. It was that. Some beer factory, like Anheuser Busch, or uh, it's, it sounds really weird, but really? yeah, that's that's where the Enterprise was. It was in, okay, in like a but in beer a building. making plant, yeah, <laughs> yeah, in a building. We were in a building, yes. right. yes. Okay. yeah, right, okay, where they had controlled, and you know, it was just yeah, okay. it was uh, the the transporter. Okay, because Spock was there, and he's like, no mother, right. And so I just had to stand there, and you couldn't see my face. So was the actor didn't there? What I was doing uh, with did my you face. get to meet with Zachary Quinto? There? Yes, yeah. So I was, I was there with with all the all the dudes and. Oh, cool! Ah, my son, my son. That's I didn't, I didn't do that. You should have. That's cool though. Wow. J.J. Abrams liked my shirt yes. though, and that was the highlight of the whole experience because I was wearing a Nightmare on Elm Street shirt. Wow, good for you. And I walked in, and he's like, oh, cool shirt. And I was like, thanks. <laughs> Not like that, no. Of course, I was very yeah, professional. But exactly like that. But, um, uh, yeah, probably a little worse, like actually. Yeah. No. yeah, exactly. Internally, internally <laughs> geeking out. No, he's, he's amazing. He's just such a nice, laid-back guy and treats everyone on set equally, from the extras to the A-list stars. Treats you no different, and I love that about him. So thank you, JJ, for being an amazing director and really just treating your cast and crew amazingly. So thank you, JJ. Thanks, JJ. We appreciate that <laughs> as well, actually. So yeah, people don't have to be jerks. It's true. I know. Yeah. But yeah, he's and you can tell he's he's a fan. And oh yeah, no, no loves, question, right? Yeah, he's doing what he loves. And, yeah. he, he's one of the. Yeah, he's one of the guys that wa probably grew up watching those Spielberg films, and mm -hmm. clearly, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, and, uh, <laughs> decided that he's gonna make, he's gonna make movies, and he did it. Yeah, so that's my little my little connection to Winona and Beetlejuice. See, I, the, I love these little these little tidbits of Kelly that we don't know about yet. Yeah. you know that are gonna come out as we dive deeper well, into. I, I always feel kind of things. sometimes weird sharing that stuff because I don't want to come across like like being bragging about it or right. like oh guess what I did I did this we wore the same dress. <laughs> you but know? it's not coming but across that way at all. So well, thank please you. Thank continue you, to to share. I want to know personally. I'm sure the people watching oh, out well, there they want to know too. There's plenty more. Wanda so. knows all the gory details. I like, <laughs> oh, 
She knows all this. She knows it all? She knows okay. it all. She knows it all. Right. all. Um, well, you'll, you'll, just, you'll give them to us. You'll pepper them in. Exactly. As <laughs> sprinkle them in. A little sprinkle of magic, um, of Kelly magic. <laughs> so, <laughs> of so, Kelly juice. <laughs> <laughs> but back to Beetlejuice. Yeah. Back to the Beetlejuice. Back to Beetlejuice. Good segue. So, so what about uh, so, Adam and Barbara? What about uh, the Maitlands? Uh, you know, the Maitlands. That's right. Uh, Gina. A very young Alec Baldwin back when he was... Yeah. Be still careful a, here. Still a heartthrob. And <laughs> he not, still is a heartthrob. Not punching people <laughs> over parking spaces. You don't know if he wasn't back then, but. Get kicked off of planes for playing <laughs> words with friends. But <laughs> his, Alec. his skits on SNL lately, though, have been hilarious. Yeah, Just, Alec's yeah. a funny guy. He he's, is a funny guy. Yeah. He's got a great sense of humor. I know. This is totally like a major segue, but <laughs> I, I just watched. Um, a clip of SNL where he was doing a the Glen Gary Glen Ross scene, but with the elves, okay. the, the giving them the the, the speech, the speech. You know? yeah, <laughs> the yeah. first place. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's it's great. Check it out. First yeah, place, he's, he's, you get a car. He's great on SNL. Yeah. Second place, a set of steak knives. Yeah. Okay. Well, this was first place. You get a sled. Second oh. place, you get a. I think it was a box of candy canes. Maybe. Got it. So, is it still always be closing? ABC like that? <laughs> so they had this piece of paper where, um, uh, so he said always be closing twice, but on the paper it said always be cobbling. Ah. Uh, and I think it was Seth Meyers sort of broke character a little bit <laughs> and started laughing. <laughs> or they both, uh, he, Seth and, and Alec both started laughing a little bit when, when he said closing. So. Got it. But <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny. So yeah, Alec Baldwin, Gina Davis, Lovely like you Gina said, Davis. younger. They both honestly, yeah. they did a great job, I and mean, I can can't fault them for anything they did. I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, it was fun to see uh, to see Alec, of course, with his book of the recently deceased, diseased, <laughs> you know, whatever, and kind of you know, diseased? thing, deceased, yeah. disease instead of deceased. <laughs> but uh, man, and especially lately, the merchandising for Beetlejuice has been just over the top. I mean, they've got Wanda knows she's got her Beetlejuice makeup palette that she got. Oh wow! Oh yeah, it's with the it has greens and purples, yeah. and it's, and the little eyeshadow palettes are coffin They're shaped. Coffin shaped. Oh, it's it's so cute. Yeah. Um, nice. I've seen purses made to look like the handbook for the recently mm. deceased. So yeah, they've just gone all all out with the merch. Underwear yeah. too. <gasps> oh, oh, underwear. Of you course. gotta have underwear. You yeah, gotta. you gotta have underwear for sure. You. you gotta have that sand snake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Keep your sand snake in check. You know? That's right. So, take care of that dang thing. <laughs> you don't want to get out. No, no. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and then of course, then there's like the special effects, like the, the makeup effects, yes. which oh, are awesome. Thank you. Yes, the practical, the practical are stuff, which we love. And, you know, I I love the scene with actually when he's in the waiting room, you mm -hmm. know, both oh, yeah. when, he, when he goes and he gets classic. to go in the classic oh, scene gosh, of just yeah. to the you got the shark bite victim on one side, and you got the shrunken head guy, <laughs> and I mean just shrunken head guy. The shrunken yeah. guy is hysterical. Right? I know, just, the I look know. Look at his face, and he like <laughs> turns his head and he's still, like shaking. You know? <laughs> That's a good impression. <laughs> so, <laughs> Like shaking. <laughs> That's what it does. I know, just, you know, it's so good. It's hysterical. <laughs> Women. I don't know what her problem is. Normally chicks. <laughs> so, and then, you know, and then you got the, what is it, the uh, magician assistant is cut in half. He's cut in half. Uh, legs yeah. on one side yeah. and the torso on the other. And I read somewhere on the internet that the young lady who played the legs was Tim Burton's girlfriend, girlfriend at, the at the time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So the lower half. The, the lower half. The legs. Lisa Marie? The, the, I don't think it was a. No. It just said a girlfriend. A girlfriend. So I, yeah. I, was pretty, I think uh, if pretty, it had uh, been, pretty, you know, a non celebrity or something, it would have said. But yeah, probably. Um, but that's interesting. Oh. But but based on that too, uh, everyone that died still looked the way, you know, like run over or the shark still on the right. leg or the head you know but uh tim had to make a conscious effort or a, a not a decision conscious, a decision to you know because alec and gina should have been wet the entire time you know because mm. they drowned but he thought that would have been too much and too uncomfortable for them so yeah, oh, yeah. wet the whole time right yeah. <laughs> so uh the scene when they first walk back into the house they're i think dripping a little they bit are. Um, oh, okay. But then that's the only time. Pretty sure they are, yeah. Mm. So. How about the scene when they're at the table with uh, the guests? They invite the guests over. The Dietz's mm -hmm. invite the guests. Right. And you have Otto and Dick Cavett. Dick Cavett. Oh. And, and then, of course, they break into the 
infamous uh, dance sequence around the table. Yep. You know, I mean, the how Calypso. like can you yeah. think about the very first time you saw that scene and like how probably hysterical it was? Yeah, and I was so you young, know? I didn't know what the heck was going on. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what was happening. Just heard that song and right. I was like, wait, is this supposed to be funny, scary? Like, I had no idea what to think. Right. But it, it was I, interesting enough to keep me hooked. And yeah. then eventually, later, watched it again when I actually, like, could follow the right. plot. And, yeah. No, no, but just how incredibly imaginative, though. I mean, it's something yeah. you've, like, never seen these, you know, ghosts taking people over and then having this complete little dance sequence around the table yeah. to, you know, Harry Belafonte. <laughs> it's just like, you know, I mean, it's just so, bu it's bizarre. But it's it's just, you know, it's so uh, so original, it's so so original yeah, and hysterical. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I can only imagine. I must have been laughing my butt off. I've seen this movie so many times. I can't remember. You yeah. know, right. Right. the and first I think time. the music was supposed to be something else, and it was, I believe, Catherine O'Hara who suggested they mm. change it to oh, okay. to the the banana boat song. The banana boat, <gasps> yeah, man. So. <laughs> That's a whole different thing, huh? Sorry. Yeah, it is. But speaking of Catherine O'Hara. I know, I was a little insensitive. I apologize. One of my, yeah, hey. one of my... <laughs> we'll learn them, guys. We'll learn them. <laughs> Give me some time. I'm, I'm being broken in. Uh, uh, and then... But Catherine O'Hara, you know. Yeah, yes. Catherine O'Hara. My gosh. You Catherine O'Hara is one of, my, one of my favorite cast members of this film, um, just because I, I love SCTV. I know we were talking about that earlier. Um, She's just hilarious. She one, is. Of, one of my comedic heroines. And as I mentioned before, my favorite movie of all time, Waiting for Guffman. It's like <laughs> what, number one or number two. I'm not sure, mm -hmm. but it's, it's up there. Um, she's amazing in it. She's great in all the Christopher Guest films. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. And she was hysterical in Wyatt Earp. <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen it, so I can't comment. Anyway, I she was in Wyatt Earp. You should see it just for her. Yeah, just oh, for okay. her. All three hours of it. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. oh boy. But I'll do hysterical. it for you, The director's cut. <clears throat> <Yeah. laughs> the director's cut, <Yeah>. exactly. <laughs> oh, but yeah, man. she's, an, you know, I mean, like Michael Keaton, another great improviser. And yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's no question. She can school everyone on that set. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. for sure. She's great. Winona Ryder, anything more to say about her? I mean, that was one of her first major movie roles, right? So, I mean, she I was so, yeah. just getting what going at that point. What year did Heathers come out? <clears throat> um, right around that same time, I think, actually. I, I don't know which one came out first. Yeah. We'll have to figure that out. Yep. <laughs> Momentarily. Figuring. 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 Working. Figuring. Not figurine, but figuring. Yeah, I don't know. I remember Beetlejuice was the first time I remember seeing her, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, right. I so see. she had done Lucas already. Oh yes, in Lucas. Okay. Um, and then Beetlejuice, uh, which was '88, and then Heather's was also '88. '88. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it was so the same year. I don't know if this. Yeah. You know. So yeah, I'd say that was probably my introduction to her as well. Either that or Edward Scissorhands. Mm. Well, either one of the two. Okay, mm -hmm. which would have been two years later. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right, so Beetlejuice. And now she's in Stranger. Th oh, sorry. Stranger no, go things. ahead. Go ahead. Thinking about things. Stranger Things, how yeah. uh, that's been her more recent role. Um, Getting her back in front of people. Are we Stranger Things fans here? I mean, I know yeah. I am, but I don't, yeah. we've never really talked about it. We haven't. Yeah, and, I, I, and I mean, Wanda's a fan. Yeah, I hear that little applause back there. Yeah. But um, I was I was hooked from the very first episode. I was like, this show's amazing. I'm gonna love it. I already love it. Yeah. All right, Stranger Things. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We'll yeah. get into that. I guess we'll have to talk more about it. That can be a separate episode. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, speaking of music, should I get into that right now? Yeah. Thing? Talk about your buddy Denny Elfman. So, <laughs> speaking of, it's not my buddy, but <laughs> if he wants to be, I mean, we can figure <laughs> that out later. So, uh, speaking of music, uh, Beetlejuice is now being made into a stage musical. It's already premiered. It's not on Broadway quite yet, but I believe it's on its way there. Um, directed by Alex Timbers, who recently did Moulin Rouge the musical, which is heading to Broadway. I'm very excited about that. Um, the star, the, the guy playing Beetlejuice, I want to call him Alex Brightman. I hope I'm not screwing up his name. Sorry about that, Alex. Watch his name is like Benjamin. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Bob. sorry. But he was in the musical of School of Rock in Jack Black's role. Okay. So I trust that he's going to be able to pull this off because he's obviously got the comedic timing, the vocal chops. Um, he'll he'll be right. able to do it. And the music is written by Eddie Perfect. He's Australian and kind of known for his 
off color sort of oh, joke cool. humorous songs okay. and yeah so it's like you've got these great people working on it i know a lot of the fans were like whoa beetlejuice on broadway no make it stop <laughs> i don't know i mean and they're doing know, we're, everything we're musical people so i'm yeah. like bring it, bring it on, on exactly. yeah wasn't bring it on a musical <laughs> wait what wasn't bring it on a musical too it was, yeah it was it was bring it on the musical <laughs> Awesome. Um, okay. So that's my little Broadway. But yeah, I talked about Danny Elfman a little bit, right? I mean, his score in this movie, of course, is yet another. I was just walked in here and I was going, bum, 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 bum. You know, yeah. I was singing it. I can't sing anymore because I'm going to get sued. Right but, now. You know. <laughs> that's okay. No one knows that's what the okay. hell I was just singing. So <laughs> yeah, I can't carry a tune, so it's okay. No problem. Uh, but I mean, yeah. Danny Elfman, of course, a legend. Uh, so, you know, and it's uh, Tim Burton and him, of yeah. course. And he? Tim Burton and he? Him? Jeffrey, what's the version of that? Grammar police? Grammar. No, there were a couple. <laughs> there okay, nice. You heard it here first. <laughs> um, anyway, so Danny Elfman, of course, classic uh, between Oingo Boingo, which mm -hmm. has got fantastic music, speaking of us 80s fans, and then uh, his scores are always, I mean, always fantastic, yes. for that matter. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Fantastical fantastic. fantasticness. I am particularly a fan of Forbidden Zone. We were talking about that earlier. I would love to do a whole show on that film. Cause Coming up, all right. It deserves it. And, yeah, that's got a great soundtrack, too. Yeah. But, awesome. Yeah. Caleb, you're a music guy. I mean, what's your uh, Danny Elfman-isms? What are my Danny Elfman-isms? <laughs> Elfman-isms, <laughs> yeah. Elfman-isms. <laughs> I, I don't have any Danny Elfman-isms. Do you have a favorite Elfman score? Uh, yeah. You know, I... I think it's uh, yeah. Pee Wee is a really good one, um, but honestly, my favorite is is Batman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. always has been my ha favorite. So okay, it's just. Uh, <coughs> Can you hum yeah. it real quick? I'm, I'm not <laughs> going to. No, no. That's a no. <laughs> Quite get the guitar. <laughs> da -na 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 -na. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty dun, good. Dun, dun. Oh, <laughs> all right. Hey, that, yeah. So, yes, I, can I couldn't think it. of it. Musicians. <laughs> Musicians. <laughs> I, I think Neil was just trying to see if I actually knew it. <laughs> no, I wasn't here. Spot. I just I couldn't remember it. So that's why I wanted Got to see if you I could know, do it. I know. I'm going but, blank with all my names no, today. Uh, we're blanking out. Yeah. We should just put just a quit put a fork in this one and. Uh, <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we talked about banana boat too. Oh yeah. Got the banana yes. boat. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, you know, you know the dance to the banana boat. I can't do it. You can't do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So I guess overall we love Beetlejuice. We're very happy uh, that it. Happy thirtieth. Thirtieth. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Again, thirty years. Yeah. I just can't believe it. I watched it probably the freaking first day it came out, most likely. <laughs> so, anyway, congratulations, uh, Warner Brothers, for making it. Tim Burton for a job well done. Michael Keaton, you know, for hanging in there and. When they make Beetlejuice 2, we expect you to be in it. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> there is a great documentary that um, that's out there about the making of Beetlejuice. I believe there's a Kickstarter going on for it right now to get it made. So cool. Um, Go check that out. Yeah, from Adam Goldberg, who does the TV show The Goldbergs. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's trying to get this documentary made. And from I watched the trailer on Kickstarter, and it does look promising. So wow, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, so fingers crossed that we get that. Okay. We get that out into to the ether. Nice. And we'll see you on Broadway, Beetlejuice. <laughs> I can't wait. All right. <laughs> 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 Michael, woo! Okay. And one thing that's kind of worth noting is the whole theme of threes in this film, saying his name three times. Uh, Caleb had mentioned the sculptures, how uh, there were supposed to be four, but there were three. Right. And I kind of noticed that overall as a theme for a lot of horror films. Um, not just films, but like, you know, Bloody Mary saying her name three times mm -hmm. in front of a mirror. Candyman saying his name three times. So there is this common theme there with the threes. There is, for sure. And mm. three is a bit of a mysterious number. It's kind of a superstitious yeah. number in itself. Although one is the loneliest number. That's true, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. anyway. But there is, yeah. yeah. Beetlejuice, of course, everyone knows you say his name three times, mm -hmm. and that's how you get him to come up and... Uh, do the bidding that you choose. Yeah, which and same with Candyman. Yeah, so except Candyman. a little, a little more violent. Typically, yeah. Yeah, and a lot more bees. A few more bees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a few. Yeah. Oh well. There's a fly in Beetlejuice. There's the That's fly. That's right. Puppet. There's a fly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good point. Yeah. And he even says, "Help me!" Help. He does. <laughs> the hey, you got a yeah. zag nut here for you. <laughs> and, then, and then Gina Davis was in the fly. So. That's us. Oh my! Boom! Yes. Mind blown. Oh. Yeah. That comes around like that. <laughs> nice. There's three of us. 
<laughs> That's true. Wow. The trifecta. Now you're freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs>Take us out, Kelly. There, Take us home. Here's the question, though. What's coming up next on the cult show? <gasps> coming up next, you know, I think we're looking at probably watching uh, some Suspiria. Ooh, a <gasps> little Dario Argento action. I'm excited. A little goblin, a little Argento. A little goblin, that's right. Yeah. That'll be a fun one. So that'll All be... Right. Uh, and then, you know, at some point in the near future, we're going to have a little slumber party also. <gasps> so we have to be prepared. I'm so, so excited. Get your special... Wanda, you better come back for that one. I'll be here. Yes. She'll be yeah. here. Get the yes. jammies. Get your jammies. I got mine on order. I ordered my jammies already. <gasps> did you really? I did. Oh. Special jammies oh. for oh. our oh. <laughs> for our slumber party. Oh, so. I can't wait. So we've got man, we've got ballet with Suspiria slumber parties. This is my kind of show. I That's like right. it. All right. It's good times. Good times. Yeah. All right. So Caleb, say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, short and sweet. <laughs> He's a wordsmith. All right. Yes. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. And hopefully we'll see you again next time. Uh, yep. We are here again in the basement of the wonderful Roxy Cinemas Catch in Santa Rosa, California. In the basement. Oh, banana boat. We got a banana <laughs> for the banana boat. That's right. Hello? Jeffrey, are you there? <laughs> he's, he's here. Wow. Oh. I thought I had an unlisted banana. Who could that be? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Not, so. <laughs> So, signing off, I'm Kelly Hitman, your ghost is hostess with the mostest, the spookiest, and the kookiest, the scariest, and the hairiest? No, that's gross. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. And <laughs> I am Neil. I'm definitely hairy, though. I gotta, I'll be honest with that. So, you know. You got that, you got that nice uh, manicured scruff. Manicured. It's gray. It's very gray. Salt and, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. That's right. That's right. I sing those songs, too, but then I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> so thank you guys uh, for watching, yeah. as always. And thanks to our studio audience. Thank, Thank you, Michael. You guys. Thank you, stylist. <laughs> Wanda. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Happy creeping and happy sleeping. <laughs>